Hello, welcome to our uh, session here. Uh, I don't see anyone here right now, but I will probably get some people coming in as we go along. Um, I have a couple things to talk about today. Um, if no one else is going to show up, I'll just broadcast to our asynchronous audience. Hello. Hey. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How about you? Okay. <coughs> oh, can you see me? Uh, I don't see your camera now. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I'm trying to switch on the camera and it's getting off. Oh, okay. But in spite, it is, uh, uh, I mean, it's showing the camera. Okay. The same problem occurred uh, in yesterday's meeting in Google Meet. The camera uh, it get turned off, but in Skype it is working. Okay. But I can see you. Oh, good. And <laughs> uh, I'll just try to put it in the code. If, if you can just one second, if you give me. Okay. So how are you doing? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's me. It's not working. The camera is not taking. Oh, okay. That's okay. So, uh, yeah, it's been long. I've been trying to contact you uh, since uh, Gordon Sir told me uh, to uh, talk to you. It's like uh, we want to work on some common platform uh, on uh, the algal biofuel from the diatoms. And uh, the garden was, uh, uh, he, he said to, uh, I mean, uh, spread this thing in masses in the newspaper, something like that. So I, I, I am trying to do that thing, uh, but it's taking time because of uh, you know the corona. Yeah. I get, yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know what that resonance pitch is like. Okay. address and mail. Uh, I don't know how, but uh, uh, like writing a blog or something like, like we wrote some material also uh, regarding the uh, diatom biofuels. Uh, we basically meant uh, uh, to spread the thing uh, so that people know that people together can start working on this all of the group uh, because this is the most unique People, uh, I mean, they're focusing on their economy on post COVID, something like so that it should be highlighted more and more the masses. Uh, so I was like, I thought that uh, she should be like a blog. He was like, write a So uh, I wrote 
Well, I mean, I've been uh, experimenting with different platforms uh, over the years, and so I've been, you know, trying. That, that's kind of how I run a lot of the research that I do with people is through like a, a collaborative uh, space, collaborative area. So uh, you know about like this video conferencing, and then you know about um, Slack. I've seen you. Yeah. You've been in the open room Slack. I found that useful for, um, you know, organize like getting people involved, getting people into a platform where they can chat and post yes. messages and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, you can you can have your own Slack team for free. You just have to start like uh, there's a there's a certain way you know you go to the website you install the the app and then you can like set up your own team and invite people. Um, and then yeah. and there you can create channels and, and exchange uh, documents yeah. and things like that. Um, so, yeah. So what actually should I do? I'm so much confused. Oh, so you mean in terms of like uh, like a strategy forward or uh, how to? Um, I guess I guess my my suggestion would be to create a strategy for kind of like getting a. Uh, you know, getting people together in in the digital space, and so um, you know, the first thing you might want to do is sort of you know establish like, well, you have a, a, do you have like an email list, or do you know where your people are, uh, or are you trying to attract new people? Mm -hmm. So uh, I saw your uh, uh, website also, uh, I and mean, what uh, you have. I mean, uh, what's this? Uh, uh, how do you pronounce like Vivo work like that? Your yeah. Website in which people are, are probably mailing. Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah. Usually, I put up the website so people can, you know, go to the website and explore. Uh, I have it hosted on Weebly. So, you know, there are ways you can, there are different 
companies. One is Weebly.com. Um, and they have, you know, you can start a website there for free. Um, let me put that in the chat. You just basically, um, you know, you go to the website and you, I think you have to just join with an account and then it gives you this dashboard which is you know you set up a website and the website's actually pretty simple to set up you you put in like a introductory page and you can put elements in so you can create you know you can uh, have like a main page and then you can nest things under like like you would organize a document so mm -hmm. um, let me actually let me share my screen. I can show you some of this. I made a website, uh, though it's not uh, right now. I mean, whatever. Uh, uh, I'm at the that I just write it. It's yeah. my website. Let's see. Okay, it's, it's coming up. So why don't we go? Yeah, why don't we go to Devo Worm here? Uh, well, ah, Devo Worm. Yeah. Or I can. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Actually, I need to do this. Uh, okay. All right, we'll go to this one. So this is... Uh, actually, I'm going... Okay, here it is. So this is the... Diva Worm, like mm -hmm. this is when you go into Weebly and you start up a website, um, and you get your, you pick a name for it, it might be Dia Fuels or something, and then you, okay. you basic, it basically asks you to put in a domain name here and you can put it in, and then it'll give you this, this address, and so then, so, it, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, can you take this step wise? Like, I, I, you mean to say I can join this Devo Home website for my work? Oh, um, I it. Well, this website, the way I have it set up, is not really joining it. Um, the way I have it is, let me show you the website itself. So, you know, this is just designing. You join Weebly. And you can create your own, and they have templates for you to choose from, uh, so you can organize it in a certain way. And so this is the. Huh. Okay, so this is uh, where you get it organized in a certain way. So uh, you, I don't know why it's what it's doing here. Um. I visit the website first. I'll just show you going into the editor, but that's the editor, and you can pick like a template for the design of the site, and then you can put up like images. So this is like just a front page with images, and then the way I have it set up is I have like different links to a project overview. So I'll have like a project or a link to a project roadmap, and this just shows people sort of what what's involved in the project. So this kind of goes over like what, how we envision the project. Um, and it's just a way to like tell people right off the bat how, you know, how they can contribute to the, to the, um, to the project. Um, let's have a link to the Slack channel, which you've seen, and then community standards, which you can define, you can say, uh, you know, uh, these are the things that we do. This is the way we interact. Like, uh, you know, everyone, if they want to contribute, they might put things in a Word document or they might put things somewhere, you know, just to tell people how to, how to interact, how to contribute to the community. So here, uh, for community standards, we have uh, different formats we use for different things. So figure and graph creations, we have this document and we kind of walk through how we want people to do these things um, it gives people information about how to do certain tasks in our group so this is making figures um, this is 
composing live stream videos. This is using notebooks. And so we have like these community standards. So it basically tells people, you know, uh, what's going on in the project, how to contribute, and then, you know, some other places to go to communicate. Mm -hmm. we also, yeah, we also have people. So we have a list of people. So this is like just our can, people who have contributed over the years. Uh, we usually put a little profile here. Or we have a picture and some links to their, uh, you know, affiliation, maybe some more information about them. I find that useful because, you know, just to get, like, so people who come to the project know who's in the project and how they're contributing. So for this, I actually have devised a system where I give people little badges to sort of like, you know, let people know what, what people are contributing to the project. So some people have just done a little bit of work and some people are involved in a lot of different things. So if I wanted to, uh, you know, uh, if I wanted to ask someone about, say, coding or um, education, I can look at these badges and find the matches here. And so, um, I just, you know, I think the, the key to designing a website for these kind of groups is to have, like, uh, you know, have, like, a, a directory of people, have some overview of the project, like, some educational outreach stuff here, which is where we have different educational opportunities. Uh, sometimes mm -hmm. they're just links to videos. Sometimes it's, like, things that we've produced. Um, and then all of that is sort of, you know, presented to people who come to the website, they want to know more. We have public lectures that we've given, so we have, like, um... This is this website paid? Do we need to pay, pay this website also? No, this is all free. I've generated this all free. It's just a matter of, like, um, when you go into Weebly, you can just set up a, like, a template, and then set up a, a domain and then you can put in okay. images. So it's actually real easy to do. I can actually get to the thing here. Oh, uh -huh. the website. Um, oh, I know what I did wrong. This is the wrong one. I gotta edit the website. That's right. Edit the, so you, you click on edit website. I'm gonna go into the editing function just to show you how this gets set up. Um, if it works, I don't know what's going on here. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, it's taking yeah, a while. Cool. Yeah, but this is the... So this is the main website. It will come up, build. And so it gives you all these tools to build things. You can put in images or title or text. So all these things are just elements. This is a title element. I take this square and I drag it over and I put in an element. This is an image. So I can take this image. I can pull it over here and you size it on the page. And then you can create these pages just with images and text. It's really easy to do. Um, and then if you go to pages, you find that you can have multiple pages. So what I was showing you out here for these headings, these are actually here in this hierarchy. So you can have like the project overview is this square, which is a page. You just click on this. So plus this, yeah. so yeah. this website, anybody can view it or uh, it's... Everyone is having some lock system. Oh, no, this is public. Once you publish it like this, okay. you can publish and you have your domain name, then it goes public okay. live to the web. It's public and everyone okay. can see it. And so, oh. yeah. so it has to be uh, made on uh, 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 a website, has to be made on one particular uh, theme, something like that, like we're talking about that. So we can find this for uh, different people. 
Who can join, join it? it? Um, oh, about people joining it? Let's see. I think you can. I'm not sure how how multiple people joining it, but um, one of the things about like websites is you want to have maybe a, a limited number of people editing it. Um, yeah. Because you know you. I mean, you don't want people just to throw anything up there. You want to kind of keep it streamlined. But I think that there's a way to, like, you know, uh, definitely, I think, updating it, like having a, you know, making sure you know who's going to update the website and having it updated regularly is good. Because it's, um, but I mean, at, at the same time, you don't want everyone to go in and edit it. But I think you can actually get people, you can, uh, uh, you can put people on the, like, you can um, give them access to the website. And I'm not really sure how to do that, but it's in here. Because uh, I'm on a couple that I don't know. Like, people have given me access to over the years, but I don't know um, exactly how you do that. I think you can do it, like, it's possible to do for free. Um mm -hmm. But yeah, then you can create multiple websites in Weebly, but you probably just want to stick with one. Just give it a domain name and then just put your pages in. And then when you get, you know, you basically amongst your group, you decide, you know, who's going to maybe edit the website on a regular basis. Um, mm -hmm. And if there's more than one, you know, and then, of course, you might want to have, like, use something like Google Docs or something even by email to have people like send their mm -hmm. contributions to a, a single person or put it in a single place. Uh, how is it like, uh, what kind of contribution the research publications? Yeah, so like, well, some of the things we have for Devil Worm are contributions. We have, um, we have our meetings, which are, you know, weekly. How, and, yeah. how do you do meetings in this, I want to ask? Oh, so we don't do meetings on Weebly. We, so if I go to more and I go to join, this is how I have this set up. I have a page that's like where we have all of the meeting times listed. And so we say, uh, uh, if you'd like to contribute, please fill out the volunteer form. This is for uh, Openworm. Uh, so we have that, and then we have the GitHub repository, and then we have these meet links. So these are links to Google. So this um, link that we have here, uh, this is linked here. So if I click on this link, it sends me back into this meeting. And I just give them the time, and you know they can join the meeting that way. Um, I also have a schedule on Google Docs. And I've linked to it, and I've made it public. And I give people this is a list of our meetings for the uh, for the year. And so, yeah. so I mean that's a way to do that. You can do you can't do meetings directly in this, but you can link out to Google Meet or something like that. Um, uh, meeting meetings are uh, you, you conduct your meetings in Google Docs. Uh, well, yeah, the well the meetings just connect through this link. So Google Meet has a link system. If you're using something like um, Slack or you're using something like Skype, it's a little harder. They don't have uh, URL links, so that might be you might have like uh, like put your your contact name or something and say, we meet at this time, contact me to join, you know, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to, like, I mean, if you can link to the meeting, good. If, if they want to contact you, I found that, like, if you give people multiple options for, like, contributing or making a contact, it's better. Because some people are good at, like, clicking the link, and some people yeah. want to talk to you about it, and it's so... Give people options. So, uh, I mean, what I understood uh, briefly is that uh, to uh, 
the message uh, for uh, your work, your this particular way, uh, the biofuel, uh, biofuel from diatoms. We need to uh, create some professional uh, website, only a thick website, only on this particular writer, where people, if they are willing, they, they can join it. And uh, yeah, probably uh, adding our uh, research institution. So, uh, one thing important uh, which I want to add over here can we, uh, in this open website, can we uh, discuss our ideas? Because then anyone can see and then they can do their own work and we are left behind sometimes. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like, uh... Like, how do you manage people's work, or do you, uh, their contributions? I wasn't clear about that. Somebody has joined us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna, uh, he, the people drop into this meeting, um, but he'll, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Brad. Hi, Bradley. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. This is sort of yeah. an informal meeting. This this particular yeah. meeting. So. Uh, I'm Ali. Uh, hello. Yeah. So we are not having any uh, meeting coming Monday, right? No meeting this Monday. No. Okay. Uh, so uh, can I present a paper uh, on the next Monday? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll email you uh, my presentation uh, the next week. Okay. So, so uh, and about uh, uh, I gave a presentation about uh, a custom-based CNN for biology. So, uh, do you think that we can do that project? Uh, remember, I gave a presentation yeah. regarding you know that yeah. open warm net. Uh, yeah, I mean, oh, do, do you think we can do it, or? Yeah, so, uh, oh. I, I'm asking that, uh, are we doing it? I, well, I mean, we can start, I don't know, <laughs> I haven't done any work on it, but I don't know, like, but we can do it, yeah, yeah we, yeah, yeah. No, actually, uh, I, I'm asking about feedback, do you think that, uh, that project is, you know, worth doing? Yeah, I think it's worth, like, at least looking into, like, exploring it. If you, you know, when you do projects, you start, you have to come up with a good, uh, you know, sort of foundation, and then you have to sort of do some exploratory work on figuring out what you're going to, how you're going to do it. So I think you're at that stage where you need to figure out how you're going to get everything together. But I think so, it's worth, uh, yeah. So I uh, I start working and then I will push the code. Uh... Hello. Yeah. 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 I I start coding and then I'll push the code to the open uh, to yeah. the open worm repository, right? Uh, Devo repository. Devo Yeah. Let's okay. see. I don't know. Pro I can send you the link to where to push it. But... Okay. Okay. So uh, will Mayu can uh, Ujwal will be joining us today. I don't think so. Um, I don't know who else is going to come in, but I think you're the, you asked for the link, and Mandana wanted to meet with me, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, my camera is in some I mean, Google Meet, especially uh, in some in a workshop uh, two days back. Also, uh, the camera was not taking, but when I connected to you know Zoom or it was working. I don't know what's wrong with Google. I have to, I mean, oh. check this now. The second time, the Google Meet camera is not working. Yeah. Nothing for Zoom and how Yes, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Google Meet, yeah, has some weird, sometimes it has some security problems with things. Yeah. So. Though the light is on, but I cannot see. I, I, I mean, my video is not coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think there would be a camera on your screen. You can uh, click on it. Uh, the camera light is on, uh, but uh, it's not taking the camera. The moment I click it on, the red is 
turned off, it automatically turns off again. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, yeah, I guess we were, Vandana and I were talking about uh, groups, you know, how to coordinate groups. So I was showing her the website and like how to do that. And then she had a question about collaborating. Um, like, so it was about like how do people progress and how do you manage that or? I wasn't quite sure about the question. Yeah, but that is important otherwise, uh, I mean, uh, if you really want to share some novel ideas which you are doing picture work, so that again, if you have to write an email only, then uh, it's, I mean, if, if you have a lot of people there, I mean, if you want to talk about each other, is it uh, in one platform? So is it uh, like uh, we make a group in Google Meet only, or we make a professional website? So all other parameters at one place I want, like uh, people can read certain uh, things um, free, I mean, in public free. Uh, but this is this is the website. This is they are working on this particular field, and they are progressing, and they are and I'm doing these uh, uh, and I'm well known people of the field, so they are so uh, and so on. People get added on a particular website, and then it carries further. Yeah. So we, yeah, we I mean what we do is, and I don't know if this is really suitable for your group, but we do use GitHub, which is a, it's, it may be it's a little bit more coding oriented, but um, I don't know, well, I'll show you what it looks like and then you can decide for yourself uh, what you think of it. But, so we use um, GitHub and GitHub is a coding, like it, it's based on coding. So it's like people will, uh, you know, there's a sole terminology. Basically what you're doing is you're making uh, version controlled documents uh, and other code but like so I have like a document here which is um, something that I've put up and then if I want people in my I have uh, people who can join this repository they call it and they can contribute or they don't have to belong to it but they can just go to it and do it they you know push some changes to it they call a pull request, they push some changes to the document and then the person who manages the site would look them over and then incorporate them into the into the document. So there's there that's one way to do it is it, it's it's pretty involved and you know it would require you know at least a tutorial on GitHub on how to use that for um, academic stuff. I, I wouldn't I don't know about academic like uh, using this for like writing papers and things like that. Um, there is another option that we also use, which is more oriented towards acad academics. Uh, it's Open Science Framework, which is also free. And it allows you to, okay, here we go. Open Science Foundation. Yeah, so this OSF.io. Okay. And so this allows you to, uh, this is more oriented towards like uh, paper, projects of papers. And so if you sign in, I have to sign in with my email and my password. Okay. Well, let me show you how this works. So when you sign in, you know, you create an account and you oh. can create. Um, like a project and then that project will have like a name and uh, you can upload papers to the place and it's version control just like GitHub. So basically it allows you to there we go. So it connects to the Orchid Orchid so um, just let me show you how this is set up. So this is the dashboard. We have a bunch. Of, I have a bunch of projects in here. 
Um, let me go to one. So DivaWorm has an open science framework uh, location, and we use this for sort of putting up papers and uh, data. So we have like here we have um, this is the project. Give it a name. You can uh, invite contributors. So the contributors have to join OSF. And we have our contributors here. And you can pick the project public or private. Um, mm -hmm. okay. And then you can actually have like uh, a list of links. So you can have, we have our main group website here. We have our GitHub repository. So we have all these things that are relevant to the project. Uh, and then we have the file, which is where we have different book chapters, presentations. Um, now, it, if you wanted to have like a dashboard, that would be something maybe on a main website where you'd have like, maybe like if you divided your group up into subgroups and you said, we want to have subgroup, we'll give our subgroups a name and we'll kind of have like, mm -hmm. maybe every so often mm -hmm. we'll give updates as to their progress. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like, we'll want quarterly updates where you could have like a little visualization where you have like a, a progress bar that says, you know, we're this far from our goal of something. And so, you know, we have, there are different ways you can characterize progress to the to people looking at the project. Uh, but then, you know, you also want to have these components to the project where you have, you know, things that people can download you've had presentations or you've had papers or just even like different bits of protocol that you might want to put in as a link you know have share with people so this is data that we've shared um and you can you know share all of this in in something like osf um you can also link to it on a website and it it, it kind of gives people an idea of you know your project has like a, a public face they can join this group uh and then they can maybe make contributions they can update documents work with documents they can you know it's it's again it's this uh, version control um sort of so is it, uh, oh go ahead so is it uh uh, I mean, uh, open uh, to public, or uh, or I mean, people. Yeah, it, it's open to public. So any, so you mean to say anyone who wishes to work or add can add, add the data, or yeah. yeah. So that the OSF is public. So what what, what you have to do is you uh, you have to start a project and then make it public. Right, so you set up a project, you make it public, and then people mm -hmm. can join the project. So, if I wanted to join your project, I would. I have an account here. I would go find the project, and I would request to join. Or you could add the people as contributors. So they have contributors here, and you go to the mm -hmm. contributors. Uh, yeah, it's going to do that, and it'll just basically say. If the people are a member of OSF, they just have to sign up for an account. You can add them as a as a contributor, and you give them permissions. So if you have administrator versus read write versus read, so you have the ability. Administrators basically have control over everything. People who can read just you know they can get access. Uh, sort of a higher level than just the general public. Yeah. And so that's, I mean, that's that's the way I've done this in the past. I think OSF is good for something that isn't code intensive because it allows you to, um, you know, start a project with basically the elements of an academic project. Um, I think that would be good for like a, biofuels project um, and then to have like a website where you have like a more ba higher level sort of telling people what's involved in the project. Project so they can 
we don't have to wander here and answer whatever was earlier being done. So, I mean, in one concise place, yeah. that's the best. Yeah, I think that's that's good to have, like, you know, in this case, you'd have two things, but they'd be linked together, and the website would be the place where everything would be concise, and that's where I would go if I wanted to find out about the project. And then have, like, document management underneath that, which is the OSF repository. And then I think that, I mean, you know, if you wanted to coordinate communication, of course, then you have your, uh, you know, your teleconference, you have your, oh, she dropped. Krishna, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I, she dropped. I think she had a problem with her connection. Yeah. But that's okay, there she is. <laughs> so yeah, okay. so that was, that was what I was going to say was the, the website and then the OSF would be like where you'd have like people could go to get specific papers or to, to contribute. And then you'd have the teleconference, of course. And then, um, you know, there are different ways to set up chat. Um, you can do like, um, like a Slack channel or something like that, which gives people the opportunity to like, you know, basically send texts and Pick interesting papers and and documents back and forth. Um, so they are saved there. Uh, all the documents we, we uh, post there or we can be saved there because yeah. of this. Okay. Yeah. That that nice because every time we we download a paper, it's sometimes in the pen drive, sometimes in the laptop, sometimes in the <laughs> desktop. So it's, it keeps on moving, and when actually one wants to read the paper, he don't find it. Yeah, it's with more organization, organizing your data at one place, right? Online. So yeah. it doesn't have a uh, sorry. Yes, please go ahead. Oh, well, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. It's 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 uh, secure. You know, one place where it's gonna be there for the foreseeable future. Okay. Yeah. So does it have any storage capacity like the, you know, this uh, Dropbox and all those have? Um, I don't think it's like, I, well, I don't know what the, there probably is a limit, but I don't think it's like low. So like, you know, you can put up like a bunch of things project related. I've never heard of it being like okay. where people run out of space. Um, I think it's so which one uh, is better, the one you are using the, uh, or, or this uh, o, uh, OSF? O, OSS, OSS. I, I like it, it's a good platform, it has a good, um, you know, it's fairly easy OSF? to use, yes. Okay. So, okay, I'll make, yeah. make a, a small... Uh, Papa, Website on OXS, uh, and uh, I'll see if I have, I have any complications. Uh, I'll, I'll get back to you then again. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry about uh, the video. Uh, I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> you you basically are working. Uh, the Dnono one is basically your project team. Uh, yeah, I have another project team too, but uh, we do a lot of stuff. Diva Worm is, yeah, I, I'm basically coordinating a lot of what's going on there. We do also. In reproductive, what was that? In reproductive biology and neurology and what Yeah, it's a mix of those things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he is from IIT Bombay. Uh, uh, he had been to AIDS, NASA AIDS Research Center. Uh, so he is a professor at IIT Bombay in India. And he is also working on the neuroscience, uh, the basic method of physics. Uh, so he is also on the algorithms and the, the uh, off-board, uh, some checks and artificial intelligence and all that. 
Wow. That's pretty good. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Good. Okay. Well, yeah, thanks for uh, getting back with me. And if, if there are any, other, you know, if you have any other questions, let me know. I think we have like a good uh, starting point here. So. Yeah, I'll first work on it uh, and see how it, uh, I respond to it. Uh, can you can you just email uh, this uh, website, both website, because in chat it is gone. Okay, I'll it's do that. Yeah, because you dropped your connection. I'll email you the specifics. So in Google Meet, the chat also goes off. It's so secure. I mean, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty secure. It's uh, that, you know, the, you just have a session that has a link, and then you, like, you... If you set it up, you have to let people into the chat so, or to the meeting. So okay. um, it's uh, something that's pretty secure. Um, it's not like people can just join whenever. Okay, good. Right. I think you emailed me something. No, not you. So please kindly email me uh, this website because I lost it uh, so that... I yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, bye, Bradley. Okay, bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye, Krishna. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. How are you? <laughs> oh, you're muted. <laughs> yeah. Am I audible now? Yeah. Yeah. So, how are you? Oh, pretty good. Uh, I want to discuss something. Okay. It's uh, actually much more like uh, you can say personal thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, I'm uh, going to found a startup. Okay. So what I'm uh, I want to work on environmental issues, right? Yeah. So uh, uh, can you suggest me something? Uh, anything? What? What are the things that you would like to see in the world? Like, what are the some invention you would really happy to see them? As far as for you know, for sustainable development and for our environment. Right. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, for sustainable development. Well, I guess one of the big things, of course, where we're, we're just talking. Mandana's uh, project is on biofuels, on actually it's like diatoms, the, you know, the diatoms, the microorganisms that we talk about in the main meeting, um, they use those as a, a fuel. So they're growing them in, um, you know, in vats, and then they use that as a fuel or a potential fuel source. So I think, you know, like maybe, you know, some forms of uh, biofuels, like, you know, they use uh, different uh, bacterial or other types of uh, organisms to you know generate fuel um, maybe like you know I almost think like the biggest problem I think is social uh, you yeah. know societal in other words like we have a lot of up-and-coming technologies that you know, they, they may scale, they may not scale. But one of the things I think is the problem, too, is that we have a lot of uh, social, like everyone wants to do something, but it's hard to actually do it. Yeah. You know, to get governments to act, to coordinate people in communities to, you know, do sustainable things. So, you know, I don't know too much about, like, but I know people are innovating in terms of social aspects of this like yeah. you know their economic models for example people are using that are innovative um you know their their sort of market approaches and, and things like that um what else um i mean always you know it's it's kind of maybe you know it's saturated maybe it's not but there are always like opportunities for you know um like a restoration 
like you have habitat restoration, you have like you know ocean uh, restoration, like re you know coral reefs where they restore coral reefs and things like that. Um, I don't know what again. I don't know too much about the space, but I think that there's maybe there may be some opportunities for like you know. Uh, 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 the thing uh, I'm uh, you know I'm working on. Uh, do you remember the uh, forest fire of Australia? Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, what I'm going to uh, what we have prototyped uh, is then you can say AI based uh, device which detects forest fires and report uh, that to the local authorities. Oh wow! So this is based so, on like uh, like remote sense data or something. Uh, no, it's, uh, it works, uh, it takes the photos of that area and whenever, uh, you know, it detects fire, it gives the location of that particular point to the local authorities. Like, it, it kind of, you can say, detects flames. So, uh, I'm, I've filed a patent and I, I would, uh, what you can say that I, I will not, you know, uh, monetize it. I will uh, kind of make it available to everyone who can, you know, so that everyone in this uh, world can, you know, help to save forests. Like, I am a big environmentalist. I don't want to see the earth getting in ruins. So once I get the patent, then I will, what I will do, I will, you know, make it freely available. So that any country, anyone in the world can utilize it. Yeah. So I have not, I'm not even shared that idea with anyone. So you are, you know, uh, one of the first person who, whom I am telling this. So, yeah. Because uh, I, I was kind of worried that uh, where we are heading, you can see this pandemic, everything. Uh, we have so much of technology, but you know, it's uh, instead of uh, make, helping humanity, it's doing the opposite. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, I once remember uh, the you know the uh, the founder of uh, deep, uh, uh, deep learning, Jeffrey Hinton, the yeah. um, the one the man who founded that neural networks and all. He once said that uh, 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 he he went to Canada because uh, defense was uh, uh, you know defense was funding his project and he didn't want. Uh, neural networks to be used in war, wars and all, like, right? So, uh, I sometimes think that uh, most of the technology is, you know, used in a bad sense. We have so much of technology, we have so much gadgets, we have so much processing powers, and still there are forest fires which kills a billion animals. So, it's kind of painful to see where we are heading. Yeah. So I, I just want, I want to do my part. So I, I wanted to get some suggestions. So what are the things you would like to, so I'm, I would like to see what are the inventions you think should be there. And even we can also collaborate and make things. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that would be, I'd be a pretty good idea. Yeah, the thing you mentioned about the, uh, predicting forest fires from images is good. And it would, you know, it would be something that you would, there might be a, you might need some infrastructure to go along with that. Like, yeah. so, uh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm used to a, a, a Raspberry Pi, you know Raspberry Pi? Yeah. Uh, it's in, so I use it to make a, a prototype and now I'm, uh, you know, I have applied for investments to angel investors and uh, within uh, one, or, one month or two months, there are chances that I will get funding. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, actually, uh, 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 my, you know, my, my dream was to cure, to find a way to cure cancer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember when I was in, uh, it was my second day at college, and one of my friends was working on cancer detection, on breast cancer detection. And that thing, you know, it was, you know, one of those things in your life that you see that it's something that you will live for. Yeah. Like it's, it's your ultimate goal. So then I started doing machine learning, but uh, after that, uh, 
I think I'm still far away for cure, from curing cancer, but yeah, I had my you know stops at different things like malaria, and now I'm working on this environmental project. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. You know, we can yeah we can talk about some other things. I mean, you know, I yeah. I gotta go in a couple minutes, but like we can continue talking about that. Actually, in my other group, we, you know, I, I have actually some a little bit of background in commercialization. I used to work yeah. with, uh, like, where they would commercialize technology. So I have a little bit knowledgeable about it, but yeah. um, I don't know if you, maybe, you know, uh, we wanted to talk more about that. That would be good, too. Yeah. So, uh, Brandy, uh, uh, from where did you have your master's? In your, in your university. At what university or uh, from where do you have your uh, doctorate uh well i have my doctorate from michigan state university in the united okay. states and my master's degree from the university of florida in the united states so it was uh you know I, i've been a to a couple universities and you know i've got a, some background in a, a couple fields so you know <laughs> like pretty yeah. good yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, now we are having, you know, uh, we don't e usually have domain-specific knowledge nowadays. Everything is interrelated. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's the thing, like, when you get an advanced degree, you have to sort of focus in on, like, a specific topic, like a PhD dissertation is a very specific topic. But then, you know, it is, like, you know, we do interdisciplinary research and, I was in an interdisciplinary program, so I'd have I'd learn a lot of different things, and then you'd have that little topic that you talk, you know, talk about for like a couple of years, <laughs> and then that's you know, and but I think it's it's also you know it's even though it, there's a lot of interrelated stuff in the world, I think it's yeah. valuable to go into one topic and then sort of figure out how to address different you know issues about research in just that one area, like. You know, how do I make sense of the literature? How do I understand how to make an advance? So, yeah. So, so how, how's, how's the, the how's Corona in your area? area? No, I mean our area. It's I think they they're more or less on top of it, but they're parts of okay. the United States where they're not. I mean, you know, it's like the governors usually are the ones who uh, are really. I mean, the, our county, our little subdivision you know political subdivision is uh you know they're they're pretty they have a pretty good health infrastructure and they have a pretty good response but there are some places where they don't and you know that's unfortunate but you know it's it's i think it's largely by people i think everyone wants to do, you know there are a lot of people want to do the right thing some people you know um aren't convinced necessarily that this is as serious as other people, but I think it's, I think it's going to hit at some point. People are going to realize that, you know, <laughs> I think it's just a matter of having experience with it. Um, you know, if you're, if you know someone who's died, you're probably more likely, or if you yeah. really uh, are attuned to like virus, like pandemics, you know, what they can do. Yeah. But yeah. it's, uh, Yeah. <laughs> So that's, that's it. it. So uh, we are not no, have. So on um, you know from next, next to next, next Monday, Monday, I'll I'll, I'll try, try to present, present something. something. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll send, send you the uh, 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 my, my presentation, presentation one, one or two, two days, days earlier, so you can uh, review it. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. I just put it in Slack. Send me a, a link to it, and I'll look it over. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. We should end this right now. Uh, yeah, we can. We can go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> bye. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. Bye.